There's a lot of misinformation about appliances that failure rates and best brands consider. Some of the most popular appliance videos online are from well-meaning service technicians. They don't see the volume of repairs we see daily, and their advice, although well-intended, is sometimes misleading. We've logged over 100,000 service calls over the last three years, report yearly on the most reliable and least service appliance brands. Service is the largest part of our company with 35 technicians. Some have been here for over 20 years. So it's time to separate fact from fiction. In this video, you'll learn about the most common yet misleading appliance problems and advice found online. In the end, we even cover an appliance conspiracy theory from YouTube influencers with millions of views. Let's get started. We all agree that putting an ice maker and dispenser in a refrigerator is a problem. Ice makers should be in the freezer. Most popular French door refrigerators have ice makers in the refrigerator. What happens is water leaks from ice makers in warmer refrigerators and have been reported as an issue across all the brands. At best, the fix with new ice makers and electronic boards is hit or miss, so often you have to live with it. The best refrigerator brands, Sub-Zero True, only place their ice makers in the freezer. The videos I watch all say that they don't see a lot of Speed Queen repairs, so therefore they must be the best, especially with their mechanical knobs. First, comparing the repair numbers of Speed Queen against the most widely sold companies like Samsung or LG is not a fair measure of reliability nor an accurate representation. I'm not defending LG and Samsung, but they are two of the most popular washers sold, whereas Speed Queen is a much smaller niche brand. It's best to compare the repair rate percentage not the number of products repaired. They can't say, we don't see many, therefore it must be the most reliable. You don't see that many because not many are sold. Speed Queen is not even the most reliable top load washer brand with a 5.9% service rate in the first year, which is still good, but LG has a 2.5% repair rate in the first year, which is obviously better. By the way, those mechanical knobs many influencers reference are electronic. They're called potentiometers. It's Leviosa, not Leviosa. We don't sell Samsung anymore, but let's be clear. Their products are generally reliable. They do have a well-documented ice maker issue. They've also had top load laundry issues. The worst part of the company is its non-existent customer service and repair network, as so many people have commented. However, Samsung's products are beautiful and well-priced. There have also been mention of spider bracket failures in their washers. Still, over five years, we sold thousands of Samsung washers and have yet to see the avalanche of spider bracket replacements. To the servicers of other Samsung detractors, Samsung is the number one brand sold in the US. You see a lot of repairs because a lot of it is sold. We don't sell it, but I will not trash your decision to consider it. Yes, to a certain degree, that's correct. However, the better GE profile is more reliable than the regular GE. Keeping the appliances simple is a good strategy. Of course, more complex appliances typically are bigger and have more installation issues added to the overall failure rate, but you can still find premium, reliable brands. This is statistically incorrect. Wrong, sir, wrong. There is no difference in service ratings based on actual service calls on the tens of thousands of service calls logged by a service department over the last few years. Repairing a front load washer is more expensive than a top load washer. However, front loads are larger, use less energy and water, spin faster for less trying, and are gentler on your clothes. Still, you may have a problem with the front load washer from adding too much detergent. It will affect everything, from creating odors to eventually eating away at the bearings inside the machine. So you only need a cap. This always mystified me. When people say this to me, I always ask, when's the last time your microwave failed? Microwaves have always been one of the most reliable products and have always been electronic. When was the last time you saw a microwave with knob controls? Control boards are more expensive in repair, but a knob has more working parts for more service calls. One video on YouTube claimed appliances had a lifetime warranty. I've been here for 37 years, 37 years. I've never seen a lifetime appliance warranty. 
How would a lifetime warranty work in year 20? I can't fix it, so let me replace it for free. But I'm funny how? I mean, funny like I'm a clown, I amuse you? These companies may have gone bankrupt 40 years ago before I started at Yale. Thinking companies with better warranties are better is dangerous because many companies extend their warranties to cover bad products and bad engineering. Also, warranty service rates are minimal, so much so that many service techs will not work on an in-warranty appliance service. You may be covered, but have difficult finding anyone to fix your appliance. An extremely long warranty could be a red flag. I love their dishwashers. They're quiet with decent features and reliable. However, Bosch's dishwashers have mostly been unavailable from 2020 to now. If there's one lesson the pandemic taught us, there are a lot of good dishwashers. LG is the most reliable dishwasher brand, but Mila, G, Profile, and even Becco are dishwashers worth considering. Bosch is good, but you do have other choices. We are a recent dealer of LG starting full line in 2020. In 2019, they were targeted in a class action lawsuit about their linear compressors. This was a bit before our time selling them, but a linear compressor uses fewer parts for fewer problems, at least in theory. Recently, in the last few years, they've been the most reliable appliance brand sold at Yale in almost every category. LG does have the same problem as every other manufacturer. Service and technician support are generally lacking for every company, so you need to find a store to help you with problems. Only that's lacking too. That's true to a certain degree. What once was metal is now nylon and plastic, but here's the weird part. Commercial grade appliances made with metal components have higher repair rates in many cases, yet they still have a premium price tag. If there's one key takeaway from this video, even the best metal components cannot compensate for poorly engineered appliance. Lifespan appliances, despite their advanced features, remains around seven to 10 years when properly maintained. Dishwashers quieter, stoves have greater output, and washers have larger capacity and enhanced cleaning systems. Even the French refrigerator is much larger with better functionality and much better energy savings. This is incredible and irresponsible to mention because the opposite is true. You can't handle the truth. Energy Star regulations started in California to reduce consumption, meaning manufacturers couldn't sell their existing refrigerators over time. When I started at Yale, our refrigerator consumed about 2,000 kilowatts a year, or about $200 a year on average. Today, larger refrigerators use only 350 kilowatts at 35 a year. Again, this is on a larger refrigerator, but manufacturers had to change their designs and retool their plants to conform to these regulations. That's why you see fewer top mount refrigerators and more bottom mount and French door refrigerators with the freezer below. But I doubt they made this change willingly, although it can be argued they eventually benefited. The fear of a broken appliance shouldn't paralyze you even when it does happen, and it will, you will save significantly in operating costs with better functionality. If the appliance is broken, a good rule is that the repair should not cost more than 30% of the new appliance. We publish service stats and reliability. If you want to see the most reliable brands for this year, then click this link and thanks for watching.